Hi everyone. So this question right here says that the graph of y equals f of x is given. And here's what it looks like. Okay. And what we're going to do here is we're asked to reflect this thing in the x-axis, and then move it three to the right. Uh, sorry, three to the left. Let me say three to the left. We're going to sketch it, then we're going to identify the domain and range. Okay. Well, a reflection. Okay, a reflection over the x-axis. Okay, well, uh, actually, that's pretty good here. We'll leave it like that. The reflection over the x-axis means it's the y-coordinate that has changed. And three to the left, visually in the graph here, means I'm losing three points from every x coordinate. So this is going to look like this. Okay. So this is my image point. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take each individual point and run it through that. So this one right here was the point negative four, negative one. So negative four minus three is going to be negative seven. So one, two, three. There's my negative seven. And then instead of being at negative one, it's going to go up to positive one. So here's where that new point is going to be. I make it kind of big so I can, I can see it. This point over here was the point zero, one, two, three, zero, three. Okay. Well, three to the left, one, two, three, zero minus three. And now this was up at positive three, but now that's going to change signs here. So it's going to go down to negative three. So it's going to go down to here. Okay. To make that point big so I can see it. This one, again, three to the left, one, two, three. And then I'm going to flip it here, but the y coordinate is zero. So that's actually going to stay invariant. That point's not going to move anywhere. Or sorry, I shouldn't say move anywhere. It did move, but it's not, it, vertically, it's not going to change any direction here. So now I connect the dots here. And in this case here, I can read off the domain and range quite, quite easily. This is going to be from negative seven out to negative one. So there's my domain. Negative seven less than or equal to x less than or equal to negative one. When I come back here. My range. Well, I go down to negative three and I go up to a positive one here. So negative three less than or equal to y less than or equal to positive one. And that's the answer we're looking for.